Well, well, well. Welcome back, YouTube. Got another video for you guys. Against the most hated team ever. The Seattle Seahawks. Hey, at least this time I don't have to worry about Sherman being on the field. Since he got his Achilles injury, I believe he's IR for the season, so... I have no qualms thrown to the right side of the field anymore. So I can beat this team like the way you're supposed to beat them. So it all depends on what this guy provides or what kind of offense he's going to bring to the table. So let's see what he does. Let's watch gameplay. Oh, man, he just released uh, patch 1.08 and then they, they introduced uh, Audible on the fly. So you can set your audibles now on the fly. And I think that's what this guy was doing. So you're going to see him run a lot of, a lot of uh, no huddle. I'm thinking it's probably going to see a lot of games now where people just running no huddle all day because now you can change your audibles on the fly. So you can run multiple plays you know, just on the fly by just switching your audibles on your formation. So it is going to be interesting. So here's my first batch of it right here. So I've been having a rough time lately. You know, it's tough playing with this team. You got to be able to play, you know, defense, okay, but offense, it's, it's rough, but I'm managing. So he starts off here with the... The, the deep drags, you know, as usual, so nothing new. I'm trying to blitz, but for some reason my blitz aren't, isn't getting there, so I can stop the play action. But So I know it's coming again. I'm trying to blitz. I'm trying to align so I can get somebody in there. Bring that guy in to cover that slot that's going across. His slot receiver is running across the field. He goes to play action. Can he cancel the play action? He gets him open again. That's two straight plays now. He ran that same play twice in a row. So, it's just how much am I going to take of it. I try to go to Tampa 2 here, try to cover if he comes across again. Since I can't get to, I can't get my rush in there. I'm trying to disguise it, just th throw him off, make him think I'm playing man, but I'm actually playing cover 2. See if he audibles out of it. Okay, he audibles. Let me see what he audibles to. Probably a run play. Play action, screen, stop. Alright, it's good adjustments on this side. He's calling adjustments. I'm calling adjustments. I'm trying to catch him, <laughs> catch him in his uh, in his drags, and I think he anticipated me switching my plays up. So playing mind games. Audible again. See, it's the quick audibles. Run the ball. Stopped. I was already rushing to the right, so I was playing for the run in case he switched to a run. So they just made defense a little bit more harder. When you add like audible on the fly now, oh my god. Talk about a headache he's about to bring up bring to the table. This is a good play. Caught me out of the side. Either take the drag or, t or the post. So that's just a good play call. Tough to stop. But he, he, went to, he goes to no huddle again. And I, like I told you, I already know it's coming. And I'm in the wrong defense, so I can't stand his defense to goal line, so I had to switch my, my goal line defense. Two double screens, he trips, sack. Let's see, I'm still on cover two still. Just double drags underneath. Bang! Sit your ass down. Yeah, this is a mistake on my part, but still, like, I don't know, Eddie Jackson didn't react to this ball, though. I know I ran him into the line initially, but I, I let him go so he can play his, his uh, design spot, which is where he's standing right now. But watch when Wilson throws the ball. Watch what he does. I mean, he's looking at the ball. He doesn't even make any play on it. Look at this. Okay, he comes down. I realize I, he goes back up. He's right there. Right there! No reaction. I thought I was going to get a pick. It's all good. It's up 7-0. Yeah, I man, it's, it's rough lately. I've been seeing a whole lot of no huddle offenses since they introduced this new uh, this new feature. So you can still do it on defense too. You can um, you can set your audibles on defense like you do on offense, but that's not something that I've 
try to do yet. But you have to be in a specific set formation. You just can't switch to any audible play. So you can only pick formations from a specific formation set. So, nonetheless, I'm on offense. Still battling here. Well, you can see like my offense, you know, has gotten better. I mean, it's just like wild throws from time to time, but for the most part, you know, Trubisky is playing better. Didn't really change much in his stats from what I looked at from the last roster update. So I, I don't know why he's been playing better, but I don't really, I'm not having that much wild throws as much as I used to, so can't really complain. Take what I can get. First down! Trying to run the ball here. I haven't really played Seahawks in a while, so I don't know if they're, they're probably not doing so hot this year, maybe. So defense isn't as feared. That is just good man coverage. I was going to force it upfield, but then, you know, my receiver didn't break like how I wanted him to break, so I just check it down into the next play. I was trying to go to the out route over here. So I'm thinking he's playing man and blitzing. That's what I'm anticipating here. But I set my tight end on a, on a streak in case that a linebacker drops. I can hit my, my tight end. So I snap the ball. Clears out. Tight end. Bang! thought I had the first down, but... Fourth and inches. I call the right play here on fourth down, but... Look at this play right here by their defense. What are you going to do, man? What are you going to do? The computer is making plays like this. I mean, what are you going to do? He's blitzing like nine blitz. Nine guys blitzing. Look at the X. Look what happened. Bang! <laughs> I'm talking about being lucky. All right, I'm back on defense. Just paint run. He goes his drags again. Well, he ran the ball. Okay. I gotta watch out for that tight end. I mean, he's uh, number 16 or so. He runs across the field. This deep drag. So I think this kind of helps stops a little bit. Ooh, I should be picked. Come on, man. Give me forcing throws in the coverage. <clears throat> what else could it be but more drags? More drags. People don't even like run routes to beat defenses. They just run drags all day. That's it. There goes drags. Double drags. Boom. Tip drill. Touchdown. Like so damn predictable on offense. Like come on. I just hope they fix that for 19. Like just drags is getting irritating. I don't want to like everyone's, everybody drags, drag, 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 drags, 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 drags. Like jeez. Throw a damn ball, like <laughs> put the ball upfield or something. Quit drags all damn day. <sighs> I wish it walked like we really did in the NFL. You run, you run drags across the middle of the linebackers, will mush you every time. You know they'll throw your routes off, they'll mush you every time you run right in front of them. But here they just they just clear out and everybody just runs free and drags underneath. That's how people are able to just run it all day. Because there's no interference on those routes when you run them across the middle of the field. The linebackers aren't even mushing them. If you mush them every once in a while, it's like it throws their timing off. And my, maybe my rush can get to the quarterback. But there's no disturbance on the drags. They just, you know, you just run it all day. Uninhibited. Okay, let's see what happens here. Play action. It's going to the deep drag. Sack. See it across the field. Deep middle. That's what he was waiting for to come across. He could have made it though, but it just happened to sack. I'm blitzing nine guys. Because <laughs> I knew he was going to do, do it again. Play action on them. Sack! <laughs> Third and 27. More drags, double drags. He's running the, uh, the wheel route. I told you covered uh, Tampa 2 cover, uh, plays well against the uh, wheel route. So. Am I trying to, um, not a wheel, sorry. The circle routes or the C routes. People try to run them on you all day. Cover two, knocks, knocks, uh, plays well against that. 
I was playing cover two on that play and was able to defend it pretty well. So I've kind of turned the tide. Now he's chasing me now. He played this play well, but he didn't count for the middle. Voila. First down. I figured you think I was going to do it again. So it's called a screen this time. Wow, this whole side of the field is wide open. Good, oh, good block. Good block. Way to lift him. Send him to the heavens. Touchdown. Back on defense. What do you guys think? You think this guy's gonna stick around if I'm able to clamp this uh, play he keeps doing? If I keep I'm able to clamp it down? You think he'll stick around? I don't know. He may not. Back on offense. Baldwin. Yeah, you gotta watch out for that guy. There he goes. Double drags. Ooh. Lucky. I was trying to bait him on that one. Act like I was following the tight end, but I was waiting for Baldwin to come across. <laughs> He's gonna run it again. There we go. Double drags again. There he goes. I mean, it's a good concept. Forces you to choose. If I was doing uh, quick audibles, maybe I can like just audible, play that same cover too, but then make somebody stick his tight end man. But that's the thing about playing uh, drags with man. It's like they're not able to hold on like they're supposed to. Unless I pick a man all the way across the other side of the field, they're going to get beat anyway. So I was saying they need to fix that for, for 19 because this is getting ridiculous. He thought I was running the same play again, but I went zone this time. Try to run. That's a good trick right there. I wish it. I wish my rush was a little bit more tighter on that one. Probably could have got him. Yeah, try to blitz, blitz and get there. So you know, just dump the deep drags again. Okay, got me again. Like this guy right here is probably running so like people that have better teams and better DBs out there on the field. Yeah, you can't win all day doing that, man. You gotta be able to vary a little bit. All this, all this past concepts all has some type of drags in it. And they just can't be your entire offense. It's like it just negates having to read defenses. You just call a drag and just wait for the drag to cross the defender and throw it. That's the, I mean, come on. All right. Let's make it happen. Come on. Let's see if I can score before uh, halftime. Send him up to the line. Getting this ride a little bit better. Block my tight end. Was anticipating that one. Call this double post here because I'm anticipating him to go to cover two because he's going to try to stop that play I just did just now. So now he's going to be playing against the sidelines, but I still got time out so I can go down the middle of the field here. So yeah, yeah, I think he's in cover two right now. I just need to get like in minute in into the safeties area. Just behind the line, the linebackers. So you're gonna see me roll out to the right here. Go and roll out. See Amen. Just got through the linebackers. He's wide open. Aggressive catch. Just like that in field goal range. Cover two. See. And he's playing the same tempo two that I play. You just had to cover that. I would have put the middle linebacker in the blue zone like I did last video. And Inman wouldn't, wouldn't even open. So I'm trying to test the end zone here. He just got good coverage. Good coverage. R1's open, but. Ooh. 
I'm gonna test it again one more time. I see what I was trying to do here with the tight end. He's gonna run a wheel route towards the sideline. At least that was the idea. But he's playing cover two, so it wouldn't have worked. But then the rush came and got me. Yeah, so he really got picked off. I threw it anyway because he's playing cover two again. Take my field goal and start the third quarter because I get the ball back. So three seconds here remain in the half. On it's the field goal unit to see about getting three points. This will be a 34 yard attempt. Three points. Start of the third quarter. I get the ball back. All right, so I mean, Geshin with the pass play all uh, last quarter. He comes on this formation right here. Look at the line. Look how spread out it is. So I go to this uh, inside zone run play. Bang! Too bad I'm not fast enough. <laughs> Too bad I ain't fast enough. But I'm in red zone just like that. Come on, let's get in the end zone. I'm anticipating him blitzing here, so I'm going to call that slant over there. Voila, got him. Bing! Two plays, touchdown. I don't even mind him scoring, just as long as it takes the whole entire third quarter to score. You know? I'm cool with that. It's a waste of time. I'm not even playing for anything else. I'm just playing for the drags, really. So I'm going to play a lot of cover, too, and you know, just try to play coverage and every time he tries to run around with uh, Wilson and send somebody after him. His offense is again predictable so you can tell what he's going to do. They go Baldwin so. Oh, come on in. Ah you coming in the wrong defense. I'm playing pass. He goes to his no huddle. I mean, that's good. I'm in the wrong defense, so he's going to just run all day, so that's good. That's a good call. He could have broke this one free if he ran outside. So, so, so much I can take if I call a timeout. There you go. I'm in the wrong defense. Let's see if try to do it again now. Baldwin double drags. Oh, it's slants actually, double slants. Let's see if he does it again. Double slants again. It's time to get sacked. Nice coming with the big joints now. All those guys just run across the field. Come on, they run all the way across the field. There you go. One. There goes the other one. There goes the other one. If he had waited, the other guy came through open. The, the middle receiver. If, if you watch, if you kept watching, you see him come open. But he ran. He just ran with Wilson. Jeez. If the rush got there, the, like none of this stuff would be happening. If the rush just got there. There's like no rush in this game. If I don't do aggressive, and then when you do aggressive, you saw what he did the first play when he did the fake snap. It's kind of like takes aggressive out of the game. It's like, why even have aggressive? Everybody jumps offside every time you call it. It's stupid. That's one of the only effective way. Look how yeah, you force that in there. That's the only effective way to really rush the quarterback, but for some weird reason, it's like, <sighs> yeah, I got to resolve to blitzing to get pressure a lot of times. See, so yeah, I got to blitz to get pressure. But the good thing is, he's getting into the red zone, so he's going to make it a little bit hard to score on those deep drags anymore because defense seems to play better in the, you know, in the end zone. So I don't really mind when he gets to my 10 or my 15 because then I can I can shorten the field here. So 
It's like, alright, who's coming across? Let's wait for whoever's coming across. There he goes, right there underneath. Oh, that should be picked! Come on, man. Alright, he dropped the ball. He waited for that box receiver to run all the way across the field. There's no pressure. Like, this is like, what, five seconds? Alright, who's coming across? It's over drags. Yeah. Boom! Sit it down. If those drags weren't so damn effective, like people wouldn't even have an offense. He wouldn't even have an offense if that was, if 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 that wasn't in the game. There are like so many other routes that are open, but he just looks for the drags all day. I got I got to play against the run, thinking he might run the ball, but. For the most part, it's really just drags I'm really more concerned about. Alright, go ahead, snap. I'm just waiting for it. Oh, good play. Finally, found something else. I'm gonna call a timeout here. I'm in the wrong defense. There we go. I'm not doing that again. Alright. See what you got. I gotta watch out for Wilson sneaking, so stay in the middle. Ah, good play, good play. He's gonna try to do it again. I'm gonna spread my linebackers out. There we go. So not only got one linebacker playing the middle, but I gotta play it. Stay against the drags. Sack. Come on, buddy. Come on, man. What you got? Double drags. <laughs> There we go. I'm waiting for it. I'm ready to I'm waiting. Come on. Come across. There you go. There he goes. Oh, that was a good play. That was a good play. But I knocked it down. It's a knockdown. Oh, well, that's it. He didn't want it anymore. I mean, he could have kicked the field goal. Oh, he missed the field goal. Oh, look at that. No wonder he quit. All right, guys, man. Just a little short video. My little rants about the... Uh, Audibles on the fly that just came out, and yeah, it, it's definitely gonna be a, be a problem. You're gonna see a lot more uh, hurry up offense, so just be just heads up. All right, to the next video, guys. I'll holler at you dudes later. One.